Sverige börjar det. Drömmen som är själva ramen då kring Roger Waters nya gigantiska soloprojekt The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. Vi har ringt upp Roger Waters i London för att fråga honom hur han fick idén till det här. Uh, Roger, how did you actually get the idea to this uh, new project of yours? I think probably by um, sitting in a room and listening to the sound of an alarm clock. Oh, really? Yeah. Could you develop on that? <laughs> well, the, the, I, I'll describe what the record's about a bit for you, if you like. Okay, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, um, it's about uh, a man in, lying in bed with his wife, and it's about the dreams that he has during a 40-minute um, a period of, uh, of one night between... 4.30 in the morning and uh, shortly after 5 o'clock in the morning when he dreams of many things and that, that the record is about those dreams and, and within those dreams are um, uh, lots of thoughts about uh, the pros and cons of monogamy monogamy what's that monogamy yes. monogamy is is staying with one woman i see And, uh, Not something the Swedes are very good at, I'm told. What? <laughs> oh, yes, I think so. Are you? I'm very good at it, yes. Are you? It's one of my very best things. <laughs> it is, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, now what, is, uh, what are the pros and cons of hitchhiking? Um, well, as I, as, I, as I explained, well, I haven't explained, but I should explain that uh, hitchhiking um, is... It is used uh, within the context of the piece, of the record, of the, of the work, as an allegory for um, a relationship with a woman. I see, yeah. So, it's, um, so, so the songs are, uh, a number of the songs are based around the idea of travel. And are based around the idea of traveling together with somebody in a car, being picked up, being dropped off. Uh, being included, being excluded, um, but in terms of the symbol of of, uh, of traveling on a road, that's all. The pros and cons of hitchhiking. Titelåten här från Roger Waters nya och också faktiskt första projekt på egen hand. Han är ju vanligtvis med i den inte helt obekanta gruppen Pink Floyd. Roger Waters förklarade alltså tidigare här att den här plattan med tillhörande konsertsné i jätteformat är uppbyggd kring en dröm som sträcker sig från halv fem till ungefär kvart över fem en natt i en mans liv med mardrömslika och obehagliga men också angenäma och roliga inslag. Det är en i många stycken erotisk dröm det här som ytterst handlar om tvåsamhetens för- och nackdelar. Well, uh, Roger, how come you're doing this as a solo project without uh, the rest of the Pink Floyd? Well, I, I it, in fact, uh, when we when we made the wall, I produced um, the bones of uh, I pro produced uh, demos of two piece, two work, two things. Uh, Uh, one of which was the wall, and one of which was the pros and cons of hitchhiking. And um, I always intended that one of them I would do as a solo work. And, and in fact, I, we, we discussed this at the time, and I played both demonstration tapes uh, to the other guys in the band, and uh, left it up to them to decide, you know, which one they'd like to be a band album. I see. And I said that I was always going to make whichever one I didn't want to do as a band album, as a solo album, because I just I felt it was something that I'd, I'd like to try oh, yeah. to do. Do you yourself? And they chose the wall. I see, yeah. Well, tell me a little about the concerts. Uh, what is it the audience are going to see when you're coming to Stockholm? Well, I'm, uh, it'll be in two parts. And the first part I'm going to play... Um, uh, selection of songs from the past um, songs from going right back probably to um, something of uh, Source of Full of Secrets and I'll probably play things of uh, well I'll make a selection I haven't decided exactly what yet but from Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here and The War and, and Final Cut and then the second half will be um, 
um, a production of uh, the pros and cons of hitchhiking. The which, whole of it. Um, which yeah. is which. Uh, it will be a kind of a mixed media theatrical production of the new album. And you're carrying a lot of equipment. You have about six lorries with equipment yes, to go I'm with the show. Yes, it's become rather um, grandiose. Is it as, gra as grandiose as the wall? Uh, no, I think that would be stretching the point a little. I, I, but, uh, but it's certainly... Um, with it, I gather I'm playing a, an ice stadium there. Yeah. So is it eight, eight or 9,000 seats, I heard? So it... So obviously, if one's going to play a place of that size, then you need to put on a show that's uh, big enough to uh, um, mean something. Yeah, what, the end. What's in the show? Could you tell me about that? Um, well, I'd, no, I'd rather not actually. I, I'll t I can t I could tell you some of what's involved, but I'd rather not start. I'd rather not describe it because uh, it would be nicer if it was a surprise. But I'm using quite a lot of film. Quite a lot of film, uh huh? Yeah. And yeah. I'm using three. I'm using back projection with 30, 35 millimeter projectors. Yeah. But what I'm actually going to do with it, and I'm using some scenery as well and things. But what I'm actually going to do with it, you, uh, people will have to wait and see. Your hope, your candle, and your eyes. Every stranger's eyes are mot slutet av den här. Drömmen. Den dröm som alltså Roger Waters har låtit bilda ram kring sitt nya soloprojekt, The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. Och som ni hörde så är det lite svårt faktiskt att få så där vansinnigt mycket ur Roger Waters. Han är ganska förtegen med att berätta om konserterna och också om sig själv. Jag har försökt. Men hur är det då med Pink Floyd? Finns de fortfarande? Eller var LPN The Final Cut, den slutgiltiga Pink Floyd-plattan? Now, uh, tell me Roger, what, what's going to happen to the Pink Floyd in the future? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, I, my, my guess would be not very much. But I don't know. You never know. You never know with these things. We have no plans to do anything in the... No? It's certainly not. It, not certainly not this year. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you think of the music today in, uh, in Britain? Do you listen much to the radio? Or? No, I don't. No, I don't listen very much to the radio. Do you listen to other records? No, no, I don't. You don't listen to music? No, not very much, no. no. Well, I listen to, what I tend to do is occasionally when I'm driving, I turn the radio on, and then if I hear something that I like, I will maybe go and buy the cassette and I then listen to it in the car. And uh, if, if, if I don't, then I, I quite often listen to cassettes in the car, but they're usually of old favorites of mine, you know? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Roger. You're very welcome. And we're looking forward to see you in Stockholm on the uh, 16th of June. Okay. Okay. Terrific. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.